Science. Everything that surrounds us has something to do with science. Science is water, land, and air. It is everything we see and we do not see. It is everything we feel, smell, hear, and touch. Wonder is a very special part of science, especially when we see the amazing results, when color changes, when everything has an equal reaction to everything we do. Learning science is very necessary to the human being who has an indefinite list of questions. That's why science is very important in our early stages in learning. Science is a very interesting subject. Teachers enjoy teaching and sharing what they know about science. But has it come to your mind? How do you explain science to the visually impaired? What do they see? What is their concept about science? How do they wonder? Let us discover how. It's only on the matter on how to treat them, not on how to teach them science. We should treat them normally. Uh, although there are some limitations on some activities, I just also use inquiry-based approach in which uh, there are some activities that I ask them to inquire for themselves. Or, basta it is not hazardous for them, I let them explore. And then another thing is learning by doing. Most of the retention of the learnings, especially for them, is mostly imaginary, mostly they learn from doing. I always remind their, their group mates, oh, yeah. let them touch okay, what you are doing, let them know what you are seeing, what happened to the reactions, ganon. and that they do not just sit okay, in one corner. I've asked them to stand up together with, with their group mates. Okay, tapos naririnig ko naman eh, sila nag, nagtatanong, nagtatanong sila kung ano yung ano, ganun. Uh, teachers are guiding the students, especially if the, the student is a visually impaired person. Um, they, for example, the instruments, they, they are asked the students to feel the, the instruments like microscope, even if hindi nila nakikita. In high school, I was asked to, to transfer another substance from another container. So, it's kaya kung i-measure yung uh, layo ng another container from another uh, device. So, I was able to transfer it successfully. Kailangan alam nila yung nangyayari sa paligid nila. Kailangan alam nila yung mga bagong gadgets. Kaya pag may mga, ano, may mga aparatus, pinapahandle ko sa kanya, huwakan mo, ipamilyarize mo yung sarili mo. Sa physics kasi, concept before, tapos saka yung mathematical approach. So, sa concept, kailangan maintindihan nila ng mga speed, yung papano ang takbo ng ganun sa sakyan. Halimbawa, 5 meters, ilang ka, ganong kahaba yung 5 meters. Minsan, papakuha ko yung meter stick o kapain mo. So, limang ganyan yung 5 meters. Ga, ganyan kahaba yung distance na itatravel, ganyan. Uh, during experiments, we allow them to explore the different reagents o kaya different materials that need to be tested or different glasswares. Plus, I, we encourage them to do the smelling observation. Ang um, pinaka-strategy ko lang yun, ang, ang modify namin yan, para hindi naman pa ulit-ulit kang haharapin mo siya at may ibang bata kaming uh, i-cater pa, naka-tape ang test para kung gusto niyang reviewin o, o gusto niyang balikan o ano, masagutan, ay talagang masasagutan niya. Ang, ang ginagawa ko, kunwari, graph. May graph, okay. Yung pam nila, pinapaano ko yan, dun sa katabi. Oo, pinapa-drawing ko. Yung mga geometry of molecules, yung shapes, mga, ganyan, mga angles, ano yan, pinapa-touch mo sa kanila. 
Sasabihin mo sa kanila yung mga parts, gano'n. Have you taste a, a spoiled milk like that, ano? Tapos sasabihin, oh, what, what, is, what, what do you observe, gano'n? What can you say about a fresh milk and is po gano'n, nakakaano sila? Para kalaki pong bagay nun para sa amin kasi po, doon po namin na-visualize kung baga sa pamamagitan po ng pandinig, ng sense of touch, ng sense of smell, sense of taste, doon po namin na nakikita, kumbaga, dun po nabubuo lahat ng image. Po sa akin yung parang pag inexplain ko nila yung isang bagay na hindi ko po nakikita, yung dinidescribe, dinidescribe po nila, dinidescribe po nila sa akin ng mabuti. Tapos pinapawak po nila sa akin yung aparatos na yun para mas ma-imagine ko po kung ano po yung, yung bagay na tinatukoy nung, nung teacher ko. mga ginagamit namin sa mga bata yung mga tactile materials na pwede nilang hawakan. Meron tayong mata, no? So, normally, papakita natin yung malaking model para mas detail yung parts niya, no? So, bubuksan natin na ganyan, then, nandun sa loob yung parts ng mata, no? So, lahat ng part na yan ay ipapahawak sa mga bata. Ito yung pupil, pinaka-sub eyeball niya. These braille numbers are uh, paste dito mismo sa different parts of the skeletal system. Ang purpose ito is for the children, for example, to identify where is the skull, where is the sternum, where is the hip bone. And of course, you, you would have to explain the cellular membrane. After the cell membrane, you have to explain its function sa paggamit ng uh, pag-demonstrate ng solar system. Different sizes, a different color. Tayo, meron din kami na-handle ng mga low vision kids that needs to identify colors. Naggagawa po sila ng mga materials, graph, ganyan. Tinatrace po nila para makapamo yung itsura ng, uh, for example, yung uh, mga figures, kung anong mga angle, angles, ganun po. Titape, then kapag may mga ano, minsan din drawing. Pa, siya nagbe-visualize, i-ano mo, tapos siya na ulit ang, ang hihi po nun. Uh, kakapain niya yon kung anong itsura, kung tama ba. Uh, for example, for group 1A, naka-braille din. As in for 1 and the letter A. And as well for the hydrogen, the lithium, lachan, naka-braille lachan. For them to easily cope up with their low vision classmates. Pinab-braille din namin yun eh. Pag na-braille pag na, na namin, dun din, dun din po kami sumusunod sa mga ano, sa mga ilaleso na para at least nag nagkakaroon po kami ng advance na review. Yung mata ko pa po, okay pa po. Kaso kapag malayo po, parang hindi ko po siya ano, makikita. So, ginagawa ko po, nilalapitan ko po yung, yung mata ko. Tapos, inano ko po sa, ano, sa bagay na yun para ma-determine ma ko o ma-visualize ko. The font is actually almost 16. Kasi, uh, some children, some low vision children, ha, uh, have a hard time looking at it pag sobrang liit na. So, modified kung mapapansin nyo, pati yung naka-print out naming periodic table. Make it a point na mayroong audio lagi ako. Uh, saka kung magpapa-exam naman ako, pinapabasa ko talaga o binabasa ko loudly yung questions para fair naman dun sa uh, visually impaired. Or even dun sa voice intonation, o oh, ito, medyo galit ako, ano naramdaman mo? By detail yung kaking pagtuturo. Kung ano yung sinusulat ko sa blackboard, kompleto. Kasi minsan kasi nire-record nila yung tinuturo ko. Ang kailangan talaga kompleto ang sasabing ko. Modern na ginagamit natin ay ito na, yung tinatawag natin na light proof. So ito, nag-i-emit siya ng sound kapag nakaturo sa light. Para makita yung level ng tubig. Halimbawa ito. Yan. So there is a difference on the sound pag nandito na sa baba at saka sa taas. Yan, meaning, nandito yung level ng tubig. Okay. Tapos, pag pinaikot, nagkakaroon siya ng sound na mas mataas, meaning, meron siyang ilaw. No? Okay. Electric pa naman. No? Mga mini. Kasi konti lamang yung volt na nagagawa niya. Ito naman, yung hawakan lang na ilalagay niya na mayroong hangin, natutuwa na sila. Uy, nakakagawa pala ng hangin.
So, nag-advance reading na kami. I-research na namin yung kung anong nang i-discuss the next week. Pag na-research na namin, doon mag-follow up reading na kami or mag-advance ano na kami po, no-taking. Kailangan ko mag-review because if there's no review and advanced reading, I cannot answer the questions that will come from my professors. Ba bago po mag-lesson si Mom, parang, parang medyo nag-review-review ko na po yung, ano, yung lesson po namin sa araw na yun para po medyo makapag-recite din po pag tinanong ni Mom. Para makapag-participate din po ako. Accommodation plays a very vital role in teaching the visually impaired. It is removing barriers and taking steps to engage students in a way that helps them reach their potential, both academically and socially. Providing equity of access and a level playing field for each student, regardless of his or her disability. As a group, pag mag aktibito o join na si Maricar, huwag niya yung nakaupo lang yan, sabi kong ganyan. Kailangan kasama siya. And hindi kailangan magkaroon ng special treatment, pero sana po yung equal opportunity, like sa mga experiment po, uh, na maging kasama po kami sa lahat po ng activities nila, although may mga visualizations po, siguro may mga methods and ways naman po siguro para makasali din po kami kasi as long as magagawa naman po namin yung mga bagay na pinapagawa nila hanggat may opportunity at hanggat may tao na willing to help us, ay gagawin naman po namin. Maramdaman po namin yung concern yung na kami po ay kabilang sa pangkat na kinabibilangan po namin sa section namin. Parang hindi naman nila ma-feel na iba sila. Parang pare-parehas lang ang trato. So, para mahamaroon na matuto rin sila makahalubilo sa iba't ibang tao, para kapag naka-encounter sila ng mga problema, ng mga struggles, malagpasan nila. Hindi pwedeng nasa isang mundo lang sila. Kailangan marunong sila makisama really important for them to feel that they are okay, they are nor normal, and they can function in the community. Okay, importante yun. At me, as a teacher, mahalaga rin pong makita ko yun kasi mas motivate din ako to teach them na kaya neto, kaya neto. So, yun po yung pinaka driving reason ko to teach them na mahalaga talaga sila. Kung ang regular ay mahalaga, mahalaga din sila. They just only have this uh, impairment na pwede namang remedyohan yung mga bagay-bagay na nalilimatahan sila. Not being treated as uh, the special one because they're not special actually because they are normal still spite of the fact that they have some difficulties actually. But the good thing is religiously they attend the class, religiously they listen, they jot down notes to treat her like all the others kasi yan din naman ang kanilang request nga sa regular classroom kasi gusto ni rin lang may experience na to be treated like any other normal student. I make it a point na intact sila doon sa area na hindi nila mararamdaman na sila ay um, different, but rather, ako as a teacher, ang dapat mag-exert ng effort for them to, uh, to understand fully yung lesson na hindi naman napipil ng regular student na si yung PWDs ay merong special treatment. Scientists are known to be precise and theoretical in their experiments. But how is science explained to the visually impaired? How do they visualize science? What are the different techniques in learning science? This lady is Pia Resurrection. She graduated with a degree in BS Psychology she studied and continued exploring science through her work as a staff in the Resources for the Blind. Mismo yung sa punto mag encourage din do sa blind na, sige, try mo, kaya mo yan. Allow niya ako to, to exp, eh, yung mahawakan lahat ng katulad ng ginagawa ng mga classmates ko. Na-experience ko din talaga yung talagang hahawa ka dun sa mismong parts, yung ba, mismo yung animals, talaga hinawakan namin yun. Uh, din, Dinaisek namin siya one by one talaga. Sa physics po kasi doon kami may laboratory about doon sa mga force po, mga theories and laws about sa kinetic energy, potential, potential energy, something. Gumagawa po kami ng mga ano mga bagay, kunwari car, tas gagawa kami ng isang ano, isang kahoy, tas 
ano, tas lalagyan namin yung car doon, tas yung kahoy may friction, yung isa walang friction, doon namin madedetermine yung, yung, ano, yung force. Gamit po ako ng, ano, ng telescope po para ma-near yung side ko. Tas magnifier din po para madetermine yung mga, yung mga, ano, yung mga bagay na malilit. Guiding the visually impaired students can be enjoyable if we put our heart into it. As we give them the same right and share to them the beauty and wonder the world has to offer. Let them explore endless possibilities in a world where everything is possible. And yung opportunity po na binibigay sa amin, in spite of those limitations, alam po namin na sa tulong po ninyo, ay matutulungan niyo po kami yung mga bagay na akala namin imposible ay magsi-switch sa possible things. It's fun to have classmates like uh, regular students because I was able to experience their uh, the way how they learn things even if there are some limitations. It's okay. Kaya kung iga-guide, kung tuturuan at kung kakayanin. That's the thing that I I I learned handling VI students ma'am. Kaya naman pala Kasi when I attended the seminar, kaya naman pala eh. Yun nga lang, kailangan may guide po. Once they, they, they have the feel, no? no special attention, really, no special attention. You will just, you will just do what, what you have to do. They have the right to feel the world around them.